Hello and welcome to our channel, Cheating Exposed. Today, we're revealing another story to uncover the truth behind the lies. So, let's get started. I'm a 29-year-old woman, married to my childhood friend, who is now 30. We've known each other since we were 10 but didn't start dating until my second year of college. After he finished college, he bought a house, and I moved in with him. We married when I was 24, and now we have two boys, a five and two-year-old. We've been living in the same house since college, but now we've bought a better one and are getting ready to move in. My husband is the only man I've ever been with romantically, and our intimate life has always been steady. We used to have sex at least twice a week, which was quite frequent considering our long relationship. My husband had a college friend named Patrick. They were close during college and even roommates at some point. However, after graduating and starting families, they grew apart, though my husband still invited him to family events. Patrick was of a different race, but always friendly whenever we were around him. I never thought about him romantically until one day when our family was moving to a new home. My husband and I were organizing our garage, which was filled with items untouched since our college days. As I went through my husband's things, I found a hidden stash of three condoms tucked away between some old books. The discovery led me to suspect infidelity during college. They seemed too large for my husband, raising further doubts. We had used protection early in our relationship but stopped after I started birth control. When I confronted my husband with the condoms, he chuckled, explaining they were too big for him and belonged to Patrick. He said he had taken them as a joke to tease Patrick, but forgot about them. His explanation made sense, but the discovery stirred something within me. I started finding excuses to be near Patrick. I invited him to join me for shopping, something I usually did alone, preferring thrift or discount stores. My primary reason that day was to spend time with Patrick. His presence made me feel like a giggly schoolgirl, and I couldn't control how I felt around him. Though I had no intention of cheating, I found myself wanting to do anything he asked. I sought physical contact, touching his back or arms and holding it longer than necessary, especially when the kids were distracted. Patrick seemed to understand the direction things were heading, but he didn't make any advances or reject my contact, which encouraged me to push things further. Once we finished our shopping, Patrick helped me with the items I had bought. While our kids were at the back of our cars, I started feeling a bit disappointed because he wasn't making the move on me as I had expected. However, he surprised me by suggesting that he could come over and help me with the items I had purchased. It was clear I didn't really need any help, but I was thrilled when he made the offer. I tried not to accept too quickly but eventually said yes, aware that my husband was due to come home in about five hours. When we got to my house, our kids were tired, so we set them up in the game room with some video games before we started moving and organizing the things we had bought. After our kids were settled, Patrick and I began unpacking the boxes of items I had purchased. I led the way to the bedroom, explaining to him that these were old clothes I wanted to try on to see if they still fit. In response, he told me that I would definitely still fit into those clothes and that I looked as attractive as I did when we first met years ago. His words ignited an overwhelming desire within me, and in that moment, I couldn't resist and kissed him. I had never been with anyone other than my husband, so the experience of Patrick's hands on my body as we kissed was incredibly intense and soulful. I had never felt as aroused and excited as I did when he began undressing me. We engaged in a passionate encounter driven by primal desire. It was an incredibly soulful experience, different from the love, reassurance, an intimacy I had known. I simply wanted to have a passionate physical connection, and it felt absolutely incredible. After he left with his kids that day, I felt something had been unleashed inside me. When my husband came home, I felt guilty, so I tried to be more intimate with him than usual. Deep down, I knew I couldn't stop what had started with Patrick. I've had sex with my husband many times since then and genuinely enjoy it, but I still have cravings for Patrick. We text each other and meet up at least once a week. To me, he was like a cheat meal during a diet. 
I needed to be with him every week to experience him, to feel desired as a woman. Our affair continued for five months. During that time, we attended a mutual friend's birthday party where Patrick brought his wife. I noticed he was starting to distance himself from me. When I sent him text messages, it took longer for him to respond. When I finally asked him about it, he mentioned that his wife was becoming suspicious and that he felt guilty. These explanations made me rethink our relationship as I thought he might not be enjoying it anymore. I probably should have just left things as they were, but I couldn't resist the need for closure, so I convinced him to meet me at a diner. So, we met up to put an end to our affair. After the mutual friend's birthday party, Patrick's wife had confronted him with suspicions, though no concrete evidence. I wondered if something I had done at the party had given us away. Despite this, I persuaded him that we should have one final encounter and then part ways forever. He reluctantly agreed, and we went to a hotel for our last intimate moment. It was intense, knowing it would be our final time together, as we didn't want to jeopardize our marriages any further. Just about five hours after we left the hotel, I received a text from Patrick saying, She knows. Panic surged through me. Upon calling him, he informed me his wife had concrete proof of our activities. She had evidence of us going to and leaving the diner and the hotel. My heart sank, fearing the impact on my marriage if my husband found out. Patrick was dealing with his own marital turmoil and didn't know if his wife intended to tell my husband. In my anxiety, I urged him to find out, but our conversation escalated and he hung up on me. Later, I apologized to Patrick for raising my voice. When I got home, I found my husband in tears with all the evidence. I confessed everything, begged for his forgiveness, but he was inconsolable. It was the saddest day of my life, realizing the extent of my betrayal. After two days, I sought a marriage counselor and also started individual counseling, trying to save our marriage. We decided to cut Patrick out of our lives completely. My husband confronted Patrick, who took full responsibility and apologized. However, after two weeks, my husband decided we should have a trial separation for three months. Simultaneously, Patrick's wife left him. During our separation, Patrick and I reached out to each other secretly, but his wife, monitoring his phone, discovered our plans and informed my husband, leading him to proceed with the divorce. Surprisingly, Patrick's wife returned to him and began sending me threatening messages. I felt as if I had lost everything, both the love of my life and Patrick. I tried explaining to my husband that I reached out to Patrick because he had left us and I was uncertain about what to do. Still, my husband is moving forward with the divorce. I suggested a trial separation, as he initially promised, but he remained firm in his decision. To make matters worse, he informed my family about my infidelity, which I felt should have remained a private matter. Reflecting on my actions, I acknowledged I was wrong and regretted initiating the affair. I do feel remorse and yearn for the times when our relationship was simpler and more harmonious. Well, folks that's all. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.